Dan Saga on our screens. Former team captain, the Red Lions, and the Fortune Cookie, which I really cool. And of course, the scavenger, Freddy Abuda, supporting his son, France. I call France the scavenger 2.0, but he still has a long way to go if he wants to follow in the footsteps of his father. But Freddy Abuda, of course, winning a lot of championships as well in the pro ranks, along with her former colleague, uh, Coach Olsen Rosella. Corner shot, wala, tanga ayai. Take a look at the field goal story. LPU shooting 41%. And out rebounding San Beda 19 to 11. You didn't mention San Beda out rebounding LPU in game one, 51 to 35. And so far, the tables have turned that energy by LPU. That's why they're out rebounding San Beda 19 to 10. So far, San Beda scoring only six baskets, abang LPU naman nine made baskets for them this game. Presbitero down to Mohon. Mohon posting up Ayaay. -ay. The spin by Mohon, lumabas lamang. Bola na kay AC Soberano. The double, good defense, helped by Zuzu. Mohon, the one-hander by JB. In and out for him. LPU doing a way better job here in game two in the offensive rebounding department compared to game one. What up a second chance points para sa San Beda. Handoff supposedly from Ayaay to Kaduya. Here's Kaduya, 60 shoot. Zuzu for three. And Mokon with the board. Let's go back to San Beda's side of things, courtesy of this report from Roxanne Montelegre. Andre LPU may have the MVP and the rookie on their side. And the Nasa Kandare ng title ng best team in offense and fast break points and the prestige of sweeping the finals. Pero para ay Coach Boyan Fernandez, what they have na hindi mapapantayan ay ang kanilang vast experience in the finals. Kaya naman ang reminder niya sa boys before jumping in this quarter is that they can never question themselves. They cannot also allow a shift in momentum and they have to show their confidence inside the court. And being the number one team in defense, sabi niya, yun ang pwede, hindi pwede bumuho sa quarter na ito at dagdag pa niya. He is expecting a lot from shooters like Bolik, Mokod, and Tangkua para buhayin ang laro nila. At kung ang mantra daw ng LPU is to love, serve, and care para sa kapuna naman nila, it is not just to keep but to fight for their winning culture and tradition. Andrea Hicks. Very well said there, Roxanne. San Beda has a rich winning culture and tradition in the NCAA. Like right. what you said earlier, Mix, they want to go for title number 21. That is the heritage, that is the culture, that is the winning ways of the San Beda Red Lions. The biggest takeaway of that is confidence, confianza, kahit sino ko pa. Even though you're the first guy, the 15th guy off the bench, as long as you have that confidence, you will do wonders for your team. Mokon will try from beyond the earth. Yes, para sa tres. Para kay JB Mokon. Six markers already for JB. Sasagunin ni Jesper Ayaay for three. Wow, three point for three points. That that was the 12th three pointer of JV Mohan this season in Jesper Ayai, his 16th three point made of the season. It's still a seven point game. LBU up. Down one game in this best of three series. Pots, corner, bang, bang, bang. Is it raining outside already? But it's raining threes I just, inside the big dome. I just brought my umbrella just in case. <laughs> Thanks, Mix. We'll be needing that with a lot of long bombs being fired here in game two. Almost a steal for Perez and a foul by CJ. Balikan naman natin ngayon. Ang panic ng LPU with CJ Tantenko who was able to talk to uh, LPU sports psychologist. Yes, and sa lahat ng kumpanan dito sa NCAA, ang LPU ang may pinakamalalim na pagpapahalaga sa sports psychology. 
every Wednesday, we have a deep breathing and imagery session with sports psychologist Marcos Manalo. Dito ini imagine nila hindi lang ang gameplay kundi ang mga potential distractions na maaaring makagulo sa team nila. And they believe that this has evened out San Beda's experience advantage. Now, in the finals, they have one verbal cue. This is a technique from sports psychology that will help them refocus. That word is win, and it stands for what's important now. Whether they are up 10, down 10, dapat daw pareho ang kanilang nilalaro. Now, Andre Mix, we know all teams talk about mental toughness. LPU is using science to build it. Back to you. Thank you, Siege. Great report there. Uh, we'll get back to that. In the meantime, Bagsak, si Tanko, Bagsak din, si Ayai. I like that. Sabi ni Siege, you win what is important now. What's important now? Yung mental toughness. Itong uh, LPU Pirates. Kite down by 10, down by 20. And what's good about that, Dre, is there is a scientific approach. Yes. You know, all of us, you know, have blunders, you know, whether in school, whether in practice, in yeah. the game. Yeah. But then there is a scientific approach on how to address that. And sabi nga ni Siege, the LPU Pirates are at best, you know, in doing that. You know, credit to Coach Tofex Robinson, the culture he brought to this LPU community and this team. I remember him uh, in season 91 and season 92. He said, I went to Joel Embiid when he said, trust the process. He's trusting the process. It's that long-term vision for him yep. and for LPU. Tagbeda na ibaba ng kalamangan ng LPU sa dalawa. Foul in the basket by CJ Perez. He will head to the line for a bonus. DJ Perez driving to the basket, finally getting his move. Yan ang ating Milo Nutri up, galing move off the quarter. Going back to Coach Topex, ano mo si Coach Topex? That guy really loves to read. So when he was going uh, on board on game time, hindi ko siya makausap ng maayos. Dahil? Kasi kapag sinichika ko siya, lagi siya nagbabasa. So feeling ko nagiging distraction ako <laughs> sa pagbabasa niya. And maybe that is where he gets his mantra, itong philosophy ni uh, Coach Topex. He is really a man of vision, itong si Topex Robinson. The four-point lead for the LPU Pirates with 6.06 remaining in the second quarter. We'll take a quick break. Maser Amer with his girlfriend in attendance, the hammer. The original hammer. Sha <laughs> <laughs> kilala natin na hammer. <laughs> now we also know another hammer, Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. But that man, Baser Amer, uh, that man, I've seen him also back when he was still in the juniors division. Still a red cup. He has gone a long way and is thriving in the pros. As we take a look. At San Beda Mix, 19% only from the two-point area, but 50% from beyond the arc. Well, that is because four made two-point baskets pa lang ang San Beda, while LPU has eight. And generally, 42% from the field ng LPU. San Beda with a dismal 28%. Hirap na hirap sila na mga convert down low. Nabasa natin sa lips ni JV Mokon. Bola! <laughs> no, it's just really telling the refs he felt it was all ball. And that emphasis. Good afternoon, by the way, to uh, last year's uh, champion coach of the Red Lions, Coach Jamaik Harim. Congrat congratulations, Coach. What a uh, first year as the head coach of the Bulldogs. Coach Jamike tuned in. A lot of people tuned in. So us this afternoon, also NCR Sports Coordinator, Oliver Gan. Right Hello. now, LPU 3 adjusted to the 2-2-1 zone press, then converting to the zone. 2-3. Oh, yes. Tumo 2 3 sila. Kung kanina, tumatao-tao sila. They adjusted to the zone defense. Here's Potts from the outside. Knocks it down from downtown for the ball Potts. And they call those zone busters. That is the risk of employing a zone defense, the shooters of the opponent. Ayaay's corner three, short. 
Ibanez, voila, Aya Ay inside, and a pushing foul on San Beda to the dismay of the San Beda faithful inside the big dome. Which boy at Fernandez did not believe there was a foul called. Zuzu attacks. Zuzu gets fouled to Tumu Salinha. She might carry Zuzu. JB Mokon, Donald Tanko, and Robert Bolik all have two fouls each already. And you cannot take a gamble on that at this stage of the game. Two fouls is too deep for these guys. Especially those three guys who leads the Red Lions in scoring. Respectively, Bolik, Mokon, and Tanqua, the three leading scorers of Coach Boya Fernandez. But there are some three in Isuzu Galian. Even though they have two to three fouls in the first half, it's all about that strategy on how the coaches or Coach Boya wants to do. Tonko is now in for the Red Lions. Potts cross court to Tonko, thought about it, the fake. Tonko being guarded by Banyas off to Abuda. The lefty for three. Voila. Potts back to Tonko. Fresh 14. Tonko being harassed by Perez. Pangalawa na yan ni CJ Perez. Make that. Pangalawa pa lamang. CJ. Thirty-three Here's Potts feeling it. That time he misses. Ibanez over to Perez. Oh, passes to nobody. A miscue. A rare one at that. Mula sa ating MVP in season 93, CJ Perez. Apologizes to Mike Harry Zuzu. And checking in for the San Beda Red Lions is Ben Atamos. The unlikely X Factor for the Red Lions no season 92. That's right. Ben Atamos. What an impact he had in that championship run last season. Oh, what a block by Mike Harry Zuzu. You know, Ben Adamos, uh, again, we're talking about him. He's in the game, just averaging seven minutes in season 93. Has started five games for San Beda. He should have this season under Coach Boy Fernandez's system. The runner by Potts, the baseline, voila. Rebounded by Abuda. Pagsak si Abuda, makukuha ni Perez. Ibanez. The bounce pass to Mike Harry. Reverse, wala Perez. Wala pa rin. Good interior defense from the Red Lions. And shot clock did not reset. That's right. And ball didn't hit the ring. Here's a corner three. Wala, another offensive rebound. For LPU. They're doing a way better job on the offensive glass here in game two mix. Kumpanga to game one. Perez from downtown. Jack Serrano with the offensive board and the put back. It's good for Jack Serrano. Serrano was scoreless in game one. Only four minutes of action for Serrano. But what a crucial offensive board and a put back. LPU back up by seven. Take a look at our Vivo player profile. Davon Buendia Potts. Profound. But I keep on telling him, keep your eyes on the prize, focused on the NCAA. I know, you know, he has bright future in the pros, but sometimes he tends to get distracted. Robert Bollick on our screens, he is on the bench. Right now, Devon Potts, eight points, averaging seven points, two rebounds per game.
35 for LPU. 28 for Sun Meta. Under four to play in the first half. A steal by LPU. The stop, the pop. Wasn't able to drop. Back to Nino Ibanez. LPU has outscored San Meda 13 to 11 here in the second quarter. They're up 20 to 17 at the end of the first. And Spencer Perretta checking in the ball game, called for a foul. Great defense here by the LPU Pirates, but for both teams to be able to play proper defense is iwasan ng sumundot. Even though it's tempting ng janin bola, very important disciplinado pa rin when it comes to the defensive end. Both teams here in the second quarter, Migs not shooting well from the field. LPU is 4 of 13, shooting 31% in the second quarter alone. San Beda, 3 of 14, 21%. As we take a look at the MVP's numbers here in this game, for CJ Perez, 9 points, 3 rebounds. For the Baby Beast, Presbytero, corner J. Takwa, I'll make that no wide side, offensive rebound, and a put back by Dudu Noah, last year's NCAA Finals MVP. And taking advantage of that down low in the paint is Nunu Noah. No clear shot blocker dito ngayon para sa LPU. Marcelino, now to Preta. Preta didn't play in the first quarter. Step back by Spencer. Preta, this time the confidence of Coach Topex Robinson's boys. Kahit hindi gamitin the first quarter, gamitin, but they know that they have a purpose when they come in. A steal by Perez. CJ, all the way! CJ Perez making sure he flushed that down properly with a big jam. We will definitely see that again. At tamos sa tip in the Luapa. Let's go back to that Presbytero. Then the steal by CJ for Vivo. Clear shot of the game with that slam. One more time. The Baby Beast. CJ now with 11 points. Two of two on dunk attempts to CJ Perez. But that dunk he made sure the sure pull Nayon. LPU with the biggest seed of the game at nine points. Technical foul called on Coach Topex Robinson. And his players calming him down. You know, we rarely see a guy like Topex Robinson giving into his emotions. This season. No round one against EAC. We were there. We were there. He was called for a technical <laughs> twice. That's right. On that same play. Yes. And two technicals means two technicals mean an ejection. And so, possibly and it, it means but ejected, suspended the following game. Yes, whether the coach or a player. That's right. Those are the rules that apply. <laughs> Take a look here. Yung, uh, that might be called an offensive interference, but yes. according to the FIBA rules, I think they changed it during the last time. Hindi kasi usually kailangan lumabas muna sa cylinder, eh, yung bola sa ring. But I think right now, it doesn't need to go out of that area para itipin mo. We'll have to check that again with uh, Commissioner Coach Mike Cristobal. Pots! No hesitation! Knocks it down from downtown! The missing link is the graduating player, the Bond Pots. 11 points in this game. Three made three pointers. The foul and the basket. For JC Marcelino. Balikan muna natin. Presbytero, he sees the double coming. Sees a wide open. The Bond Pots for three. And then JC. Marcelino tosses one up, gets fouled by Doliguez, and heads to the line for a bonus. 
the rookie of the year, JC Marcelino at the line. This is from the free throw line, and Mike Harry with the offensive board. He was fouled. Utumu Salina for two. Noah called for his first personal foul. And LPU out rebounding San Beda 30 to 24 to go with Mike Zuzu, seven rebounds, six offensive. Perhaps you know, pinakamalaking stat don. Six offensive boards by Mike Zuzu, keeping them themselves at bay, at striking distance. LPU's biggest lead of the ball game was nine points. Mike Harry sinks both free throws on that trip. Take a look at the two-point field goals. San Beda has only converted one as compared to LPU's 60% shooting from the two-point area. But a big difference when it comes to three-point field goals because San Beda is shooting 50% from Rainbow Country, four of eight here in this quarter. But it's very ironic, Dre. 19 points in the quarter, only one made two-point field goal while making four threes, as you mentioned. The attack by Noah overshoots Mauguan Preta off to Kaduya. Kaduya, the spin on Presbitero. Kaduya, oh, Clint Oligas called for the foul. He does not agree. So does the San Beda crowd. Let's take a look. Inikuta ni Kaduya. Chinalinch ni Doligas. Pakalawa personal ni Clint Doligas, who felt. He had all ball. Robert Bollick back on the floor. With one minute and 24 seconds remaining in our first half. Here's Ray Marcaduya now at the line. In and out on his first attempt. He is a 62% free throw shooter. Season 93, Mike Harry Zuzu on your screens. Zuzu with eight points. Seven boards today so far. Raymar's numbers on your screens. He splits his charities. An eight point lead for the Pirates. Potts sees Doliguez. Thought about taking the three. To Bolik. Asking for a screen. He gets it. Bolik attacks inside. A foul nine, lista mo pa. All right, Jamie Bayo. Good luck by Bolik to Bayo. Let's take a look. A pick and roll. And Bolik seeing his big man inside. The assist from the King Lion. Bayo did not see action in game one, mix. And Bayo completes that three-point play. Lumapit ng bahagya, San Beda. Still down by five. Under a minute. Nalamang dito sa ating first half. Umatake si CJ Perez. Almost a steal for JC Marcelino. 46 segundo. Potts, off to Doliguez. San Beda has the numbers to Bayo, who misses from point blank range. Ball will stay with the red line, say sorry miss from the young big man. He admits, that's sorry to his coach. Ball will stay with the red lines. Here's Bolik, will bring the ball in bounds from baseline. Bolik. Looking for some movement. Off the pots. Mohun. The spin out to pots. Pots. Where is the sequence going? Want to shoot for the Red Lions. Marcelino. Oh, misses. Kaduya gets foul. will head to the line. 
JC Marcelino. Poor judgment on his end. Nauna na doon si Raymar Kaduyak. But good thing, Kaduyak built him out. Got that offensive rebound. Passed his chance to extend his lead. CJ Perez, 50% from the field. Leading his team, 13 points already. The leading scorer for the game is CJ Perez. CJ shot 45% in game one with his 25 points. Today, like what you said, makes 50%, 6 of 12 to CJ Perez. 13 points in 17 minutes so far. 1 of 4 from beyond the Argus, CJ. Banyas is back on the hard court. Here's Ray Mark Kaduyak at the line. Kaduyak short on that free throw. 15 seconds to go. Bolek. Last shot time, Marcus Red Lions, down by eight, Bolik attacks, and Bolik gets that one to drop, asking for a foul. Four seconds, three, Perez from the other side, and Jan Magtatapos, the first half. LPU after two quarters. Up 47-41. Let's go back to our second quarter highlights mix. Ayai knocking that one down. A quiet, that was uh, the lone field goal from him, from Jesper Ayai. But how about Davon Potts? Nailing three three pointers in that second quarter mix. A total of 11 points. But CJ Perez wants this series to extend to a do or die game three. The Potts has other things in mind. He was on fire in that second quarter. Marcelino, the rookie of the year, also contributing five points. And the baby beast has been the story for LPU. 13 puntos for CJ Perez. We will take a quick break when we return. Halftime stats, analysis, and a lot more at the half. LPU up by six, 47-41.